Um, when I first started learning how to airbrush, I really wanted to master how to do some fire. And now, I have really mastered fire. Ah. But, if you don't want to become some kind of wizard musician and you just want to get good with airbrush fire, the new Mike's Brush Real Flame Stencil Kit is here to help you out. Go ahead and check out the link down in the description. We offer these sets for 20 bucks. We ship them right, right to your door. Shipping's not free, unfortunately. But we do have them pre-cut. They're ready for you to use. They're made out of um, high-resistant, uh, chemical-resistant plastic. So they'll last you a lifetime as long as you take care of them. You can wipe them off and reuse them over and over. And in this sweet video, we'll show you guys how to use it to create some awesome looking fire. All right, so you've gone and ordered your Mike's Brush um, Real Flame set. Uh, and it comes with three different stencils. So you can see here, one, two, three, right? And uh, <clears throat> I've kind of made these uh, kind of to my preference. Um, and we have one kind of big one, right, for making nice big flowy flames. We have a medium one that actually has cuts to kind of accent these, um, but also as well, you know, just you can make your own flames off of this. But, you know, this is really, these are all really designed to work together. And then we have a small one that you can use to make small flames on small stuff. <clears throat> but when used all three together, um, these make uh, one flame pattern or kind of, you know, they make a nice flame design when used all together. So I'm going to start off by using this big one here. And I'm going to load up some Createx White. And this process can be done with um, pretty much any paint, but you need to have like an opaque white and transparent orange, uh, transparent red, and transparent yellow. Um, and <clears throat> you'll be able to get these same matching results. Um, it always helps to have your own uh, uh, stencil set like this. Um, again, the links are down in the description if you want one of these. And yeah, let's get started. So I'm gonna start up by loading some white. And all I'm gonna do is use our nice long cuts here on our big stencil. And the process I like to use is called, um, I don't know, feathering out, I guess. Because we don't want to just hit this edge, right? You don't want to just hit the edge and that's it. Um, what I like to do is hit the edge and then bring it off that edge like this, going out. And then we're going to use that same edge that we made going out here. And we're going to choose one of our other curves here, such as this one, this one right here, right? And I'm going to bring it in to that one there. So as you can see, we start building up our flame right here. Again, bring in one of our next curves. And we're going to bring it into that one. So you can see that. That way they start flowing together. You don't want to just link them together. I've seen some flames that look really kind of, you know, just tacked onto a car. And so you just want to kind of, you want to link the end of your wisps kind of together to create an illusion of a continuity, even though not the edge are continuing, the, the actual shadow here is continuing. So coming off this edge. And curves like this are specifically why I like, uh, or why I made this stencil set myself is because you don't really see too many curves like an S. Um, usually the stencil sets come with just, you know, plain old curves. As you see, we just build it up using that same method, going back and forth. Right, you can see that little S design. I love those, right? Those look really nice. So I'm going to bring this in to that right there. So we got our end there. And we bring this little fella. 
kind of just working my way around randomly, right? Using our, our big pattern. I'm only sticking to using the big one on this first layer. trailers over here so you see that edge there look at that it almost lines up in that little shadow look at that that's nice right there and we're just gonna go ahead and connect these here at the end Same process down here. Maybe we choose a different one. We don't use this one too much here. Just bring that one right across there like that. Bring those together. And there you go. We're done with the first layer. Now I like to go through and add some free hands to this. Right? So you want to add some, some nice trails coming off of those. Set. Just some nice little wispy trails. Now what we're going to do is we're going to load up some red and we're going to cover this with transparent reds, right? So if you're going to use a candy uh, red, you know, a transparent Createx red works just as fine, um, you know, or any other color as long as it's transparent. You know, any other type of paint. Give our little paint a little shake here. And we're going to go ahead and just cover that all up with red. Then we're going to come back in with our second stencil, right, that comes with our set. We're going to come back in with white. And now we don't want to just go back over those same lines again, right? But these same curves here, we want to take our edge of our medium stencil here and kind of line it up with some of these edges there. And just, we're going to accent those edges there. So bring it in from there. Right, now you see that little bit of a dark red there goes into that white line, but once we cover it with orange, um, that's gonna create a really nice illusion of depth, right? So again, we're just gonna come off this line here. Bring it in like that. And we just work our way around the same process. Yes. 
So you can see all I'm doing is building up the curves off the red using a different stencil. You know, and this really is going to create an illusion of depth once we add the orange. It's really going to change it up. And again, these little S curves like this. These are specifically designed for making flames. I mean, you could use these curves for all your designs, really, but, you know, they're really made and designed for making flames and fire. So. And again, we're just going to come back in with a little freehand work. Got a little bit of free hand in there. Keep those edges nice and crisp, nice and sharp. Then we're gonna load up some orange. We're gonna cover this with orange. We're just going to go ahead and cover your story. You can see our flame is starting to take shape. But now what we're going to do is again go in with our smallest cut of the real flame set. And we're going to go ahead and add. See how this one has these nice little sharp curves and stuff like that. We're going to just go ahead and add some of those in there. Come around to there. Like that, bam. Got that easy. Get all these little curves here to play with and connect. Throw a little freehand in there. You know, we're just playing around with the flame at this point. And just building off of what we already made and just adding accents, right? So going in here and say like that right there, bam. See with those cuts like that. Leading to other designs like this. Then we'll add some freehand in there. And that gives our frame, the <clears throat> flame that nice random look. And we're gonna add a little bit there.
So you see all we're doing is working our way around. And just get a little loose with some freehand. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cover this with yellow, transparent yellow. Then last but not least, I just like to come in with a little bit of freehand, just some white, and just throw in a little bit of like some emberous, kind of just some little definitions, you know. This is completely optional, you don't have to really do this, but I feel it brings the flame a little bit to life, just adding a little bit of randomness. That's how we use the Mike's Brush, um, you know, real flame set. Uh, again, if you want to get your hand on one of these uh, stencil sets, the links is down in the description. I hope you guys enjoy this demonstration. And yeah, thank you guys for all the support. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Oh, 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 oh.